Hey everyone, it's Adam again. I'm going to show you how to configure your AKS or satellite using its web-based configuration tool. I'm connecting my laptop to the unit via Ethernet as it's joined to the unit's Wi-Fi network. The laptop allows me to share my screen easier, but these steps can be performed on an iPad just as easily. Once you're plugged in or logged in, use your web browser to navigate to 10.10.100.254. This is the default IP address of an AKS or satellite in host or access point mode. The main settings page will come up, showing you all the vital details of your unit's current configuration. We'll cover the other panels in a moment. If your configuration panel doesn't look like this, or is missing many of the features shown here, you'll want to reach out to Rat Pack about a free firmware update. At the top, you'll see the unit's current working mode, its IP address, and its battery level. Mode describes whether the device is a Wi-Fi access point and host, here described as a Wi-Fi server, a Wi-Fi client which allows the device to automatically connect to a host AKS or satellite, or an Ethernet client which allows the device to join existing Ethernet networks. Client modes are especially useful for multi-universe arrays. Client mode can be enabled by either double-clicking the power button for Wi-Fi client or clicking five times for Ethernet client. The unit can be restored to host mode by triple-clicking the power button. The unit will transmit a universe of CRMX regardless of what mode it is in. The IP address not only represents the location of the web configuration portal, but the device's unicast address. Battery level simply tells you how much power is left in the device. You can get about a day of use out of a satellite, or three days out of an AKS. Below this are three buttons, ID, Link, and Unlink. Clicking the ID function will cause the unit's indicator LEDs to start flashing. Link and Unlink provide the ability to remotely connect and disconnect fixtures without physical access to the unit. The ArtNet and SACN settings pane allows you to adjust your working protocol and universe address. The default setting is ArtNet, Subnet 0, Universe 0. If you are only using one universe, there's probably no reason to change this setting. Here, you can also change your Art Pole name, which will appear in any compatible lighting control app. Note that this is different from the Wi-Fi, SSID, or network name, which you can change on the AP Interface Settings page. If you decide to use SACN or change your SACN universe, a restart of the unit will be required. The AKS and Satellite support SACN multicast and will automatically subscribe to their selected universe if a stream is available upon restart. Make sure to press Apply when you are done making changes to a pane before moving on. You will only need to restart the unit once for any settings that require it to take effect. Moving downward are the CRMX output power and color ID settings. The CRMX output power adjusts the strength of the lumen radio transmitter on the AKS and satellite. Although it's tempting to do so, setting the power level higher than necessary can cause interference issues for other devices and even drain your unit's battery more quickly. The color ID setting adjusts the internal RGB LED on the satellite. This color ID is reflected in all compatible TMO2 based products such as the Rat Pack Centena 2 and Lumen Radio Moonlight. Last on the main settings page is the Gaffers window. The Gaffers window allows a range of DMX channels to be controlled by a separate console or device in ArtNet mode. This is useful when another crew person needs to control a few select fixtures while leaving the rest of the lighting rig in control of the lighting programmer or if a user just wants to use a second device for more control over their universe. Click Enable to use this feature. On the AKS Plus, the DMX port can be used as one of the two sources. Click Use XLR to use a local DMX signal, if available, as the source for the window. Click XLR as main if you want to use the local DMX as a primary signal. Choose the ArtNet universe of the second source and confirm its settings, then select your channel range. When this feature is enabled, any changes to your primary source within this channel range will be ignored and replaced with the channels from your second source. Next, we'll go to the AP Interface Settings page. Here, you can configure your Wi-Fi, IP, and network settings. 
AP, or host mode, is the default mode on the AKS and satellite. Enable it by triple-clicking the power button. You can set the SSID or Wi-Fi network name here, as well as configure its wireless mode and channel. Frequency auto select is not recommended as it disables some of the CRMX integration features. For best results, always choose channel 1, 6, or 11 as these will minimize crosstalk and interference with other 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks. The default on the AKS and satellite is channel 1. Remember to click Apply before moving to the next pane. Down here are your IP address settings. You can enable DHCP server here or disable it to use static addressing on your network. If you're planning on using the AKS or satellite as a router or a host on your network, it's usually best to just leave the DHCP on unless you have a specific reason to use static addressing. The STA interface settings page controls the device's behavior in station or Wi-Fi client mode. Here, you can search for existing networks and join them when in client mode. The default is Ratpack AKS password quiet on set, as this allows the units to automatically connect with a host AKS or satellite when in client mode. The WAN connection type determines whether your device will be provided an IP address via DHCP or have its own static IP address which can be configured here. This setting is only valid in client mode, so if you want to change your primary host IP address, you'll want to do it in the AP interface settings page. Note that when you are in Wi-Fi client mode, the Ethernet port will provide a separate gateway network IP address at 10.10.99.254. This is useful in advanced configuration scenarios. The host name feature can be used when connecting your AKS or satellite to third-party routers which support the feature. The device configuration page will be available as a subdomain on your router using the name here. By default, the AKS or satellite will copy the device's art pool name to this field. The instructions and help page provides a helpful manual which goes into greater detail than this video will about the various features of the AKS and satellite including what the different blink codes for each LED indicate. The device management page allows the user to update the device firmware as well as restart the Wi-Fi and networking portion of the AKS or satellite. The administrator settings panel designates a lockout username and password for the web configuration, although this feature has actually been deactivated and will likely be removed in a future firmware release. Restart module simply restarts the Wi-Fi and networking portion of your device. This can be used after adjusting your SACN universe or changing your Wi-Fi or network settings. Update module firmware loads new software for the network facing side of the device. Update SAMD firmware loads new operating software onto the core microcontroller. This feature is only available with later firmware and requires an authorized Ratpack service location to install the free update. In advanced settings, the operating port for each protocol is displayed, though not currently editable. The CRMX channel block width specifies the size of the CRMX keep-out window surrounding the 20 MHz Wi-Fi network. The default is 32 MHz, which gives a clean space of 6 MHz on either side. CRMX second channel block enables another keep-out window around a second 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel. This is sometimes useful in the rare cases where the AKS or satellite's CRMX signal is interfering with onset Wi-Fi networks. It's best to leave this feature off as it can reduce CRMX range. Lower the channel block keepout window bandwidth to 26 MHz if you do enable this feature. That's all for this video. Next time, I'll show you the new Rat Pack Constellation System and Multi-Universe Configuration.